Hello friends, this video on carbon edge compound part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 25. Uh, the compound which we discuss is ethanoic acid. The chemical formula is CS3COOH, right? And the common name is acetic acid of this guy, acetic acid. And dilute solution of Ethanoic acid is also called vinegar, which we must have seen in your homes, generally used to prepare Chinese food or also used to pre uh, preserve pickles and all, right? So this is used to preserve pickles and also used to cook for Chinese food. So the physical property of ethanoic acid is it's colorless, it has sour taste, it has a smell of vinegar, it has a boiling point of 118 degrees Celsius, pretty high boiling point, and it is Missable with water, you can mix this guy with water, it mixes with water. If you talk about chemical properties of ethanoic acid, uh, if you go for the litmus test, since it is acid, it goes for litmus test. It also reacts with uh, carbon and hydrogen carbonates. We'll explain those things now. We'll, uh, it also reacts with uh, sodium hydroxide because since it's acid, this is a base, so this goes for the acid base reaction. It also reacts with alcohol to make esters. We'll go one by one. Let us taste. Since it's acid, it, it is uh, acidic in nature. It will turn the blue litmus red. But they are weak acids. They are weak acids. Right? They are weak acids. For the activity, what you can do is you can uh, compare the uh, pH of the dilute acidic acid, that is my uh, organic acid, and dilute HCl acid using the universal uh, indicator you will observe that uh, this guy uh, HCl is a stronger uh, acid and this guy is a weak acid this is a activity you can do if you talk about reaction with carbonates and uh, hydrogen carbonates you see when you this guy acid this ethanoic acid reacts with carbonates and hydrogen carbonate it gives rise to a salt carbon dioxide and water and this salt is called sodium acetate the reaction goes like this, I have CS3COH, I react this guy with uh, sodium carbonate, I get CS3CONA, that is sodium acetate, water and carbon dioxide. The same acid I react with sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate, I get again CS3CONA, water and carbon dioxide. And this reaction is also used to test ethanoic acid because you get CO2, right, you can uh, find the CO2 because it turns lime water milky, right? CO2. So it is used for test to test ethnoic acid also. So the reaction with uh, sodium hydroxide, so as I told, ethnoic acid is a acid, it reacts with the base such as sodium hydroxide to give salt and water. It's called acid base reaction actually. So you have NOH, that's the base, you have the acid, you get CS3, CUNA, and water. It also reacts with alcohol as I told, ethanoic acid reacts with alcohol, ethanol and the presence of acid catalyst to give a sweet smelling uh, substance called ester and this process called esterification, we have covered this. So we have this acid, we have this uh, alcohol, we have this acid, in the presence of sulfuric acid it gives this ester, ethyl ethanoid, sweet smell. So we have activity for alcohol, so you can take one uh, milliliter of ethanol and one acetic acid, right, in the presence of few drops of sulfuric acid and you mix all these, right, uh, for five minutes and then you'll see that uh, you'll find the sweet smell, sweet smell will come. You have this uh, ethanol sulfuric acid and then you warm this in the warm water for five minutes and then you'll see that sweet smell will come. We have a test for ethanoic acid, we have this sodium hydrogen carbonate test, we have ester test and we have litmus test. So we explained all these things, the litmus it turns, it, it, it has an acidic thing, right? So ester it gives, um, with, with, with alcohol it gives a ester and with uh, carbonates it gives CO2 gas. Let's see the use of ethanoic acid, it is used for vinegar as I told. It is used to make uh, cellulose acetate, that's nothing but artificial fiber clothes. It is used to make perfumes, 
It is also used to make dyes, plastic, and substances. It is also used to coagulate rubber from latex. So when you prepare rubber from latex, this guy is used to coagulate rubber from latex. Now we have the question time. We have to distinguish alcohol and carboxylic acid by chemical test. So we know that in this case, I have acid. If I used sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate, anything I can use. So if you see this acid will give you effervence, CO2 gas, right? But if I have alcohol, if I use NAD, NaH, CO3, there is no reaction. So you have something and you want to find whether it's alcohol or carboxylic acid, you just add uh, NaH, CO3, sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate. So if you get a gas kind of uh, ferments, and that gas is carbon dioxide, that means you have acid, else it is alcohol, right? Or you can also go for a litmus test. Since this guy is acid, is acidic nature, uh, it will have effect on litmus, and this guy is alcohol, it won't have any effect on litmus. What are oxidizing agents? Um, anything which adds oxygen to something. For example, my alkaline potassium permanganate solution or my acidified potassium dichromate. These two are my mango. These two are my oxidizing agent because they add oxygen to other things. Because I have seen that for alcohol, I can use this oxidizing agent and you get acid. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.